when you are running, what I like to do is modify the browser for local development. Now, if you've done any type of web development, you've probably at one point in your career, maybe, had to be responsive for a server. Maybe you're a server-side developer and this client stuff, stuff is new to you, then you'll completely understand this. Local browsers were built for web browsing and security context. This is the complete opposite for most desktop developers who don't understand this security and cross-site stuff, right? So you'll run into a problem with both Chromium and Chrome have problems hitting local web servers because even though it's local host running on your machine, your local machine, they still perceive it as a cross-domain security model. The only way to prevent that so you can actually have your local web box in Chrome, right, this 10 thing right here, maybe hit a local host web server that you have is to modify the security of how the browser starts up. Now there's a well-known way to do that you should, that's a little safer to do in Chromium. When you hit this little black arrow, you can manage how your project launches, okay? So we're gonna go to manage launches. Now you'll notice I have many different projects I've in here that are configured for different launches. You, I have two of my test project. You'll see the blue icon for now indicates Chromium. That means my Dart project. This is the target HTML file for that project. It's gonna run in checked mode. Check, to, check mode basically means not production. It'll actually add different things as well as code inspection to make sure that parameters being passed type correctly, your code is working as expected with the types, and if it doesn't work, it'll stop, right? So this will get basically 99% of your errors that don't have to do anything with code parsing, right? Getting JSON from a web server, for example. So check mode is what's known as development mode. You want your code to explode early as possible. Show all the errors, let me fix them. So when I run in production mode, hopefully I have none, okay? Now, if you're doing any type of web development locally, you wanna add this to the browser arguments, the launch parameter to the browser, in this case, Chromium. So it'll say disable web security. That allows you to make cross website domain requests. You should never surf the web if you know that the setting is on, ever. It's very dangerous. Once you hit apply and then run, that's for the actual Dart projects that you run. So as you run in Dartium, it'll allow you to hit local web servers and call it a day. You'll notice there's a second launch when I ran as JavaScript. I could actually rename this to say run as JavaScript, and that's fine too. When you run as JavaScript, things are different. It actually runs Dart 2.js, and you can say compile before launch. You actually want to compile to the JavaScript before the launch, and you can pass in parameters such as minify or minify no minify, whatever else. These are the compiler flags that you can change to the compiler, okay? There are a few for Dart.js that you can play with that help you debug your code. So for example, let's say you get an error in your JavaScript that you don't get in your Dart. How do you do that? Well, if you turn off minifying an actual Dart, then you can actually say no minify. That way when I run, my JavaScript isn't minified and I actually have a chance to actually figure out what file it is, where in that file is, right? It's readable JavaScript, not minified and uglified. 